All right, so I'm going to try to demonstrate what I'm doing with these needle files <coughs> to carve these plate lines, the seams between the plates. Um, I'm using um, a needle file, a wedge-shaped thing. That shows you the end of it there. comes to a point on this edge, and it's flat on this edge. This one is, in fact, broken. Um, but that makes for a nice width that works pretty well for keeping the the size of your track or groove consistent. <clears throat> and this is this has uh, the plastic helmet underneath with fiberglass. Uh, paper on it, and then Bondo on top of that, and then a couple layers of paint. So, there may be some thickness to go through here. I'm going to try to let this thing autofocus. I'm going to attempt to hold the camera and do this at the same time, so apologize if it's not entirely a smooth operation. So start kind of by scoring the line. back over it. So start by scoring the line there and then kind of go back and dig out a little more material. The white stuff that you're seeing being removed right now is clearly the Bondo, the putty I was using. Below that, hit a layer of where the fiberglass is, and then below that, in some areas, you will actually hit the plastic of the helmet that's underneath. So, <clears throat> that's the process. Just kind of keep just going back over it, cleaning up those lines. And then you do that all the way along the line. You can see that I've done this one all the way around. Here you can see that it went into the plastic of the helmet. All this is pretty consistent depth all the way around, which should show up nicely once it's all painted the same color. So hopefully that shows a little bit about how the detail is done.